We have 21. Pre-election. Fight against Tinubu. I was involved in all. 21. To the glory of God, up to the Supreme Court, we did not lost, we did not lose any. We did not need, we did not have cause to appeal. We were always defendants. Then came this last week. Some were saying they are residents of Abuja, they want 25%, they cannot be sworn in. Some went to court, on which was decided also on Friday, they said, look, they, they, they don't stop the inauguration. There was also the Uhuru matter, who suddenly said, oh, I won in 2019 by a referendum. Stop the president, uh, and then we inaugurate and then inaugurate minister. We won all, all. And like it's been joke, the joke has been trending in social media, Bola Tinubu is about 57 million richer before even assuming office. Because first one got 40 million, Uhuru, 40 million has cost against him, and the Supreme Court will get 2 million. Before they had the call appeal, we had, um, we had um, 5 million. Um, with the call appeal, we had 117 million. Okay. So, but you see, what I want to say, and I know we are constrained for time, at the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court made it loud and clear that PDP stopped terrorizing justice of the Supreme Court with the media, stopped terrorizing and bullying us. So you can see it's right. been challenging up to Friday, okay. and they created so much tension. I'm going to have to party again, see you know. of Nigeria. The so, vice president has arrived, and that's what you're seeing going on right now. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I'm going to have you back here eventually as, as we get along on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Excellency, you are heartily welcome. Excellence, uh, le vice-président de la République fédérale du Nigeria, le professeur Yami Oshibajo, S.A.N. D.C.A.N. Mesdames And I hand over to my co-compare, Captain Godfrey Ababa. Thank you very much, Flight Lieutenant.